How do we charge items by conduction? Well, let's go through a quick definition. Charging by conduction involves conductors that are insulated from the ground. Here's the insulator. Ground is somewhere down here. And here's our charged spheres. Okay, the insulator is necessary to prevent electrons from leaving or entering the spheres from the Earth. If I have these spheres very far apart, so they're not interacting, what's their total charge? Well, let's look here. We're just going to, clearly, there are way more charges than we're showing here, but this is just to illustrate. We have one, two, three, four positives, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight negatives, negative eight plus four. This will be a negatively charged sphere with a charge of negative four Q. Let's look at this guy here. One, two, three, four positives. One, two, three, four negatives. Net neutral. So this has a net charge of zero. It has positive and negative charges, but they balance out. The spheres are now brought together and they touch. It came both ways. This represents that they're touching. The electrons don't want to be near each other. They're all like charges, they're negative charges, they want to push away as far as possible. Note that the positive charges, which is representing the nuclei, don't move, they're fixed in position. So these electrons push as far away as possible, which means they're evenly distributed between the two spheres. However, the total charge of the system, if you add up all the positives, here are the eight positives, and you subtract the negatives, you still have a total charge of negative 4q. Charge is conserved. It's not going anywhere. We then pull the spheres apart. The charges can't get back to where they came from. Air, this is all air in here, is an insulator, so the charges are stuck where they are now. What we have is an equal distribution of charge. We have the one, two, three, four, five, six negative charges that are over here. We had a negative six over here. Remember, they split equally to get as far away from, from each other as possible. Then once they are separated, see how they spread out here on the surface? Again, they want to get fa as far away from each other as they can. So what charge do we have on each one? Well, we had an initial charge of negative four Q between the two spheres. So when we split that in half, we get a negative 2q. So charge has been transferred from this sphere over to here. That's charging by conduction. And a key thing to remember is when you're done, each sphere has the same charge.